السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ الزی ہدان لہذا عما کن لنہ تدی اللہ نہدان اللہ ان الحمد للہ نحمد و نستعین و نستغفر و نعوذ باللہ من شرور انفسنا و من سیئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد وقالوا سبحان الله تعالى في كلامه المجيد والقرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وقالوا سبحان الله وتعالى یا ایوہ الزین آمن اتق اللہ وقولو قولا صدیدا یسلح لکم اعمالکم و یغفر لکم ذنوبکم ومن یطع اللہ و رسولہ فقد فاز فوزا عظیما قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فإن خیر الحدیث کتاب اللہ و خیر الحدی حدی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وشر الأمور معدستها وكل معدسة بدع وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters in Islam all praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has guided us into this which is Islam we would never have been guided without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help and assistance. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness and we seek protection in Allah from the evil of our soul and from the evil of our actions. Whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, nobody can able to misguide them. And whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't want to guide, nobody can able to guide them. I bear witness there is no deity worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without partners and our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's servant and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the glorious Quran, O believers, O you who believe, get conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah mentioned in the Quran and do not die other than submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not die other than Muslim. Be a Muslim. So hereafter, you can go to the paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh mankind, I created you from one person, and from him I created many men and many women. Get conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not cut relationship among your own kinship. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching over us what we do in this world. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh believers, get conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and speak the truth about oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the only creator and everything is a creation. So one creator and everything he created. So Speak the truth about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obey Allah and obey Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Allah will guide you to the right direction. He will forgive your sins and you can go to the paradise. He will make you enter into the paradise. So Allah is the most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uswatun hasana. The best example for men and women, for everyone. The mercy for the whole world. So we have to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa guidance. Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, the best 
Speech is the speech of Allah. The best command is Allah's command. And the best guidance is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And people add things in Islam, these are matters. And who follow innovations, if people adding in Islam and people follow, they will go straight to the Jahannam, the hellfire for, for them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned in the Quran, Uma ata kumur rasulu fahuzuhu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, Whatever your Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gives you, take it. Whatever Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gives you, take it. Uma nahakum anhu fantahu. And whatever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forbid you, abstain from it. Whatever Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, don't do it, don't do it. Then it's easy for us to go to the Jannah, the paradise. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, if you don't follow Allah and Rasul, then he already warned us, وَاتَّقُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ So fear, wh and whoever follow, Without Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, their punishment will be severe. So, attaqullaha, inna allaha shadidul iqab, surely his punishment is very severe. So we have to follow Allah, atiullaha wa atiur rasul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned many times. So Allah said also to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ So Allah said to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you tell your slave, if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you love Allah, then follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يَحْبُبُكُمُ اللَّهِ So follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah will love you. If you want Allah's love, you have to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's guidance. And Allah will forgive your sins. He will love you. And He is the most forgiving and most merciful. So every single thing in this earth this temporary life we have to be more serious about. This entertain is nothing compared to hereafter. The entertainment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us hereafter in the Jannah. So these entertain we have to have follow the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's guidance. Then we can be in the right path. We can enjoy our life according to the Quran and Sunnah, according to Allah's command and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa guidance. So everything should be for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, my prayer, onusuki, my sacrifice, onusuki, o mahiyaya, my life, o mamati, and also my death. Also my death, my salah, my prayer, my sacrifice, my life, and my death is for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lillahi Rabbil Alameen. So our prayer, our worship, our sacrifice, all the bad habits and everything sacrifice, and our life, total life, and our death should be for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to get knowledge from Quran so we can find the truth about what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying and also the hadith and life of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is very important. If we don't, then we will be lost. We will depend on somebody. So directly we can get the source and knowledge so we can build up 
That's what our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Talab al-ilmi faridatun ala kulli muslim or muslima. Every single Muslim, man and woman, we should, it's mandatory for us to seek knowledge so we can find the truth about this life and hereafter everything what Allah created and where we came from, where we are now, and where, where we are heading. So finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying how we can go to the paradise, how we can go to the paradise. It's not difficult, my brothers and sisters in Islam. Allah is the most merciful. If we make any uh, wrongdoing, any sins, Allah is the most forgiving and merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, La taqna tu mir rahmatillah. Do not give up hope from my rahmah. Inna Allah yaghfiru zunuba jamia. I will forgive all of your sins. I will forgive all of your sins. Inna hu huwa al ghafur rahim. Surely Allah subhanahu wa taala is the most merciful and most forgiving. So do not give up hope. We all are sinners. Bila Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. We all children of Adam are sinners. So the best sinner sallallahu is who ask forgiveness to Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving. Allah said, if you have taqwa, if you have taqwa, if you have conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also, if you do good deeds in this life, help others, help Allah's creation, then Allah will give you the Jannatul Firdos. And you're not going to, you don't want to be, come out from there. All that entertainment in there. Allah said in the Quran, Allah said in the Quran, Allah said, as to those who believe in Allah and work righteous, good deeds, they have for their entertainment. They have for their entertainment the garden of paradise, Jannatul Firdos. So if somebody follow Allah in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then Allah and do good deeds, love his creation, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you enter into the Jannatul Firdos, wherein they will stay forever, eternal life, then don't want change the place from Jannatul Firdos to different one. So that's the highest level of Jannah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us. So sure, we can go to the paradise, every one of us, if we have trust in Allah, trust in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, obey Allah, of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam follow the command and follow the guidance and do good deeds you know help others help Allah's creation because if you help others then Allah will help you in this life and hereafter so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us guidance may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins inna allaha wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the angels are giving salutation to our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asking, O oh believers, give your salutation to your Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Each time we give salam to our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us back ten salam. So my brothers and sisters in Islam, 
we have to say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam every time we heard Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this life easy for us. All the coronavirus affected people, we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for them to get cured. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive those who passed away, give them Jannatul Firdos, and whoever we are here, guide us to the right path, who we, who we are if affected. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and make every difficulty easy for us. Allah said, if we believe in Allah, then every single difficulty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make a way out from there. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us guidance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our community safe and secure. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide people to the right path. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take every difficulties away from us. Make our generation, next generation, better from us. Make our next generation pious the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided to the right path and guide us to the right path. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li sa'iril muslimin fa astaghfir innahu huwa al-ghafoor al-rahim. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.